Awesome. So this client, they we essentially work with a food delivery service company, and uh, this test specifically focuses around increasing signups for restaurant owners so that they will list their business um, on this food delivery service app. So our test here was trying to understand, you know, can we increase urgency um, by limiting the duration of a free trial. So for a period of 30 days, um, which is their standard free trial, um, there are zero commissions you have to pay. And then after that 30 days, you pay the standard commission rate. Um, we wanted to understand the impact of having a 14 day trial instead. Uh, there's a little bit of value in that, you know, they, this company can start collecting commission a little bit earlier. Um, but we also just wanted to understand, does this drive urgency or does it completely, you know, turn people away from it as a too short of a trial? Um, so we tested it throughout their signup flow. So from the landing page all the way through each step. Um, in terms of building this test, it was a little bit complex because we had to kind of hunt down everywhere that it said 30 days and make sure that that changed appropriately. So if you're thinking about doing this with a client, make sure that you um, get the full scope of this test because it seems very simple, just changing a couple numbers, but it, it can get tricky when you have to make that change in, in many different places on a site. Um, so any questions about this test? Like this one ran on both devices you mentioned or to just desktop? Yes, I believe it ran on both devices. So your hypothesis was by shortening the duration it would create a sense of urgency? Yep. But ultimately, it's not as good of a deal for the merchant, right? Because they don't get the extended period before they actually start. Correct. Paying. Yeah, correct. And the only change was the was the, the duration of the days. Yeah. Like no messaging. Or, okay. Yep. So and it, it just kind of went down from a month to two weeks, which two weeks is still kind of a decent amount of time for you know a company to, to try something out. So we wanted to see does bringing it down to two weeks, is that still enough of an incentive to try this out? Anyone have any other questions or does anyone have any insights into which variation they believe we've won and why? Well, Emily, I have a question. Did, yeah. did your results analysis include looking at the cost savings for the company, knowing that they'd be saving on 14 days, approximately of not paying out commissions? Yeah, so that was kind of part of it as well as even if this test fell flat, it would still be a win in the sense that there are cost savings on the client side for sure. So that was kind of the added benefit um, here. So was that sort of the break even point was like flat to a lift or like were you willing to take a hit as well? Um, I think if we were if we were willing to take a hit, it would have to be small enough to where the trade-off wasn't too drastic. I will say we did get pretty conclusive results, so we didn't actually end up having to run through that particular calculation step. But if we were in that situation, um, we would have certainly performed that analysis. I'm going to go with variation one as the winner here, just because it's um, it has, I guess, a little bit more leniency as far as like what is considered a win in this situation. Um, and I think 14 days is still pretty compelling. So versus 30. So I think that would be my option there. I would say 30 simply because anecdotally, I feel like my brain functions more in months than it does in weeks. Like I can't really understand what 14 days of free anything is to me, but I can definitely think about like, what is 14 days free rent? Right. I definitely know <laughs> what a month's free rent is. You know what I mean? That's totally anecdotal, but. Yeah, no, that's actually a really great point. We even had conversations about, do we say two weeks or do we say 14 days? But in order to keep like as much parity between the two, we just stuck with the two. Emily, one question for you. In terms of your audience, you might've mentioned this, I might've missed this, but is it US-based audience? Is it international? What does it look like? Great question. It was, it was everyone. So international and US. Awesome. All right, let's vote. So if you think the control, the 30 day option one, you'll put a thumbs down. If you think the variation one, you'll put a thumbs up.
go ahead and cast your vote. Oh, and then if you think it was flat, you just put something in the middle. So go ahead and okay. put your vote up. Good mix here. <laughs> so overall, this test actually lost when we looked at it in Optimizely. Um, it was like a 5% kind of drop. When we started to look at it based off of country type, um, we saw something completely different, told a totally different story. And this is why it's important when you look through your results, not to just make a decision based on something overall, because there could be a little more nuance in here that actually has a lot of opportunity. So we realized that the biggest drop was occurring in international spaces um, in Australia and Canada, both with leads. And even more importantly, by the time when it came down to actually closing the deal, um, significant drop. Part of the reason our hypothesis is, is that, you know, this company has a lot of um, uh, brand awareness in the U.S., but internationally, they're still working to kind of grow into these markets. And so there's a little more hesitation in international spaces. Um, and that 30-day trial just is a little more comfortable for that group. Um, in the U.S., however, totally opposite story. As soon as we dropped it down to 14 days, we saw a big tick in users jumping on that two-week deal. Part of that could be that they are used to seeing 30 days and they're coming back and now seeing it at, you know, two weeks is now, oh, shoot, like I, I need to jump on this now. Um, or it could be that just 14 days does drive more urgency to start and finish the sign-up process because then you want to maximize all of that time that you're working through. So um, we're actually going to continue kind of retesting this. They uh, this company rebranded some of their site and things are a little bit different now um, and they have pricing and packages. Um, so we're going to retest this concept in uh, in conjunction with some of those new changes that they've rolled out. But overall, this had a pretty substantial impact on their revenue um, just on a monthly basis. And this, I think, shows the importance of not just uh, looking at the overall picture. Sometimes it's good to get granular and segment your data uh, to really find out, you know, which audiences your test is working for. So that's that's yeah. a great test to showcase that. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to have more test ideas sent to your inbox.